Forecast. Caleb, we just saw in that report temperatures here and around the world on average just getting warmer each year. Yeah, and what we're experiencing now can be linked to climate change. We don't want to say that the recent warm temperatures are the direct cause from climate change, but the patterns that we've been seeing over the past couple of years, the warmer winters, that can be linked to climate change. And like the reporter just mentioned, we expect to see that in 2024. Although warmer temperatures that we're seeing now are also you know, related to things like El Nino and things like that. So there are these short term things that we have to look at. So like I mentioned, we can't say it's the direct cause, but it's definitely related. Temperatures yesterday, very warm, well above where they're supposed to be for this time of year. We had a high of 50 today. We've dropped a few degrees, 43 for that high for today. And tomorrow temperatures will be a couple of degrees cooler. We've got 41 for that high temperature for your Friday. Waking up in the morning, 36 at 7 a.m. We'll still be in the 30s at the noon hour and we peak at about 4 p.m. But still, this is warm for this time of year. We're supposed to be in the mid 30s for those highs. Saturday is going to be another warm day as well. 4 p.m. High temperatures in the low 40s across the region. But then we see those temperatures drop back down into the mid to upper 30s for your Sunday. So things are changing closer and closer to where they're supposed to be for this time of year. And at the time of the ball drop, well, Temperature is going to be at about the freezing mark, 32 degrees, and we've got the chance for a few snow flurries at that time. But the rain showers that we're going to see tomorrow, relatively scattered. And on Sunday, those snow flurries, those are about it for the rain chances over the next seven days. So we've just got a little bit left to go before we see drier conditions return. Here's what future track is showing as we get into the weekend. As you're waking up in the morning, 7 a.m., just a few very isolated rain showers, maybe a snow flurry, and a good chunk of the day is going to be dry. So do you need to take the umbrella with you during the day? No, not necessarily so. But once you're starting to head home from work, 5 p.m., you're starting to think about those evening plans. Maybe you're going out to dinner or whatever it is. You might want to take the umbrella at that time because we're going to see another round of rain push in, and that'll continue until late Friday night. The good news, like I mentioned, Saturday actually going to be dry. So if you want to get outside on Saturday, it's going to be a good time to do so. But here's that weather system that we're tracking for Sunday, 10 a.m., 11 a.m. This weather model is showing some rain showers and maybe a few snow flurries popping up. But I think most of Sunday morning is going to be dry. Really, I believe it's going to be into the afternoon and the evening. We start to see the heart of that system move through. So by five o'clock, we're talking about maybe a few snow flurries here or there mixed in with some rain showers. And that trend continues into the evening and at the time of the ball drop. So if you plan to go out Sunday night, early, early Monday morning, you might be contending with a few snow flurries. I am not worried about accumulation here or much in the way of impacts in 21 country. But if you're somebody who's traveling for New Year's Eve Sunday, especially closer to the lake shore in the evening and overnight, you could encounter one or two slick spots. But overall, that's going to be the impact from this system on Sunday into early Monday morning. For those of us here in 21 country, it's going to be a non noteworthy event, except for the fact that it's coming on the last day of 2023 because 2024 is going to be dry. We've got a high of 36 as we kick off the new year. There's that new year's baby for Yammer. 38 on Tuesday, 39 on Wednesday and 38 on Thursday. And we start 2024 on a dry note. And it does look like we're going to see a bit more sunshine for the start of 2024 than what will end with for 2023. Okay, Caleb, thank you. On Wall Street, the markets finished the day mixed. The Dow Industrials closed up 54, the NASDAQ closed down four, and then the S&P 500 closed up two. Next on